censoring my broadcast and they're cutting it up and I don't like that. Okay, what's going on? Um, they're cutting, they're actually cutting off things that I'm saying. Where is our rights anymore? We don't have rights. Okay, so the Bible says that what well, Jesus said, they seek after a sign, but no sign shall be given to them except the sign of Jonah. As Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights, so shall the Son of Man be. So that's the sign that they're going to get. They're looking for a sign of the Messiah has come. But that's the sign right there that you got to fall into repentance. You got to come into repentance. You got to surrender yourselves in front of the living God of Israel. And he is Jesus Christ. You got to give yourselves to him in all truth. You got to give, you got to lay yourselves down. The Bible says if you save your life, you'll lose it. And if you lose your life, you'll save it. All right. So I don't know what they cut off and what they did. Honestly, this is just so frustrating. But we're looking at Israel called to be that beautiful, that beautiful place that people look to see where God is. And if they're not serving, if they're not proclaiming just Jesus, then who are they proclaiming? Because God says, I am God and I do not share my glory with another. God is not going to share his glory with another. So what are you doing? Are you saying it's okay? Are you afraid of men? The Bible says, fear not men, those who can destroy the body, but fear God who can destroy the body and the soul. Fear him who can cast you into hell fire. If you are seeking to be pleasers, I pleasers of men, the Almighty God is not very proud. He says, I am Father, where is my honor? If I am Master, where is my respect? Where is it? My children, they, they forsake me. They dishonor me. My servants, they're not serving me. Because one cannot have two masters. You cannot see the God of Israel. It's the God of the Muslims and the God of the Jews and the God of the Christians and the God of the Hindus. No, God will not share his place. And Satan wants to be esteemed as God. This whole system of things that are coming around is for the the sage for the Antichrist. They want that man, the, not they, but Satan. I'm talking about Satan and his, his legion. They, because Satan is going to be in the body of the Antichrist. Remember this. So they're looking for a sign. Well, if the Messiah comes, there should be peace. But Jesus said, do not suppose I can enter in peace. I not give peace as the world gives, but as I give. Did Stephen have peace when he was being stoned? He did, didn't he? But he died for the Lord, didn't he? Those who want to save their lives will lose it eternally. And those who lose their lives for my sake will save it eternally. Now, remember, the whole thing is deception. So Satan is as the angel of light. He presents himself as such that he can deceive. And it looks good, and it smells good, and it tastes good, and it sounds good. But only God is good. Jesus said, do not call me. Why do you call me good? Only God is good. Because you were standing in front of them in the flesh. So he did not he did not want them to esteem him as a man that is good. But when he goes back as sovereign spirit, Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yeshua, he is good. Because God 
God is all holy. He is perfect. He is righteous. That's why he's on the throne. Let's get a sink in. There's too much. Be friends and be this and be that. Now you're supposed to love your God first. And love your neighbors after. Not love your neighbors first. And give God what's left. We ought to align our lives to God, not God to our lives. Oh, hallelujah, glory to God. So they are looking for a sign of peace. So they say the Messiah has come, and God's will please by faith. But now, faith, now, the present, now. Faith is existing now because God is the greatest I am that I am. He's always. Amen. Now, faith is the substance of things before, the evidence of things not seen. So it's a blind man hoping to see, but he has not seen yet, but it is coming. God's will please by faith. But if you don't have faith and you're looking for a sign, like doubting Thomas. Lord, is that you? He's standing in front of him, but you cannot see him. That's why he said, If my people who are called by my name, Israel, the one who in God rules and reigns, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, turn from their wicked ways, and here's the, here's the beautiful part. Seek my face. I will hear from heaven. And I will heal their land. Second Chronicles 7, 14, I think. God says, seek me. He says, if you seek me diligently, you will find me. You will know me. I am that I am. It's the same God in the Old Testament. It's the same God in the New Testament. Whether he's a burning bush presented to Moses or he's the king of glory coming out from the feasting hell and the grave. He said, who is the king of glory? Psalms 24. The Lord strong and mighty in battle. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Israel, you got to rise up. Oh, my Christian brothers and sisters who believe in the cross, you got to rise up and proclaim that name of Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach. you got to lift up the name of Jesus, that name that they want you to so deny. He's called you out of darkness to shine. He says, as I was in the world, so are you. But you're not of the world. You're in the world. But you're not of the world. You're here to be our witnesses. You see what he just said in Isaiah 43. Okay, sorry. He said, You are my witnesses. From Judea unto Samaria, you are my witnesses. How long will you deny me? He says, I desire to have a divorce certificate from you because you're playing the harlot. You're cheating on me. I've married you, but you're cheating on me. But I will not make a complete end. I will betray you to me again. You will be my people and I will be your God. It's a done deal. It's a thing. The Lord has said it and it will be done. Oh, I'm getting thirsty now. Okay. So I was saying, listen, I called you out of darkness into my marvelous light that people may look upon you and say, wow, behold the beauty of this people. Behold, they're blessed. Behold, the Lord forsakes them never. Behold, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Israel is with Israel, and the world will be called Israel as a, the nation that is God. And they will turn to us Israel because they worship the one who is in God. But that's not what's going on. They're worshiping the one on the white horse. 
one who came with false peace. Oh, wow. Excuse me, I'm sorry. They're worshiping the one who gave them false peace, not the Prince of Peace. Isaiah.